Hello everybody, my name is Marty, short for Smarty Reads, and welcome back. Today I'm going to read chapter, oh, the extras of High Five Mallory. It's called Do's and Don'ts. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. Do's and Don'ts. Going from 4th to 5th grade is a big switch. Trust me, I know. I've learned a lot since I started school, and I'm not just talking about the stuff in my textbooks. Here are my top 10 tips to help you start a new school year off right. And the good news is that these tips should work no matter what grade you're in. Mallory McDonald's Top 10 Tips for a Great School Year Do's Do respect your teacher's privacy, especially if she's new. Actually, this advice applies to old teachers, too. Number two, do follow the rules about phones and everything else. Number three, do put a lot of work into your school projects, especially the book reports. And don't be afraid to try something creative. Number four, do try to be a good friend and always be ready to make new friends, too. Five, do take it one day at a time. If things don't seem good at first, don't worry. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Don't. Number six, don't worry if your friends start doing new things like drinking smoothies. And hey, maybe you, maybe even give those things a try. You might like them. Number seven, don't worry if your new friends make some new, if your old friends make some new friends. Just keep being a good friend and try to focus on some of your other friends. Number eight, don't worry if you get stuck, in, stuck working on a project with a partner you don't want. You might end up being really glad you did. Number nine, don't freak out if you get into trouble with your teacher. Teachers get that, get that kids make mistakes. Just try to show your teacher that you're working hard. Number ten, don't do something just because someone tells you to. Like, ask your teacher a personal question. If you follow these tips, I'm pretty sure, actually totally sure, You'll have a great year. Good luck. I hope you have the best school year ever. Recipes. This recipe, try this recipe for baked s'mores that my friends and I made. They're simple to make and even simpler to eat. I know your friends will love them as just as mine did. Get an adult's okay to use the oven. Baked s'mores serves four. Ingredients. Four regular sized graham crackers broken into halves. Number two, milk, two milk chocolate bars broken into halves, four marshmallows. Directions, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Two, lay graham crackers on a cookie sheet. Top half of the graham crackers with chocolate bars. Place marshmallows on the remaining graham crackers. Three, bake until the marshmallows are puffed and golden, about two to three minutes. Remove from the oven and press one chocolate covered graham squared with graham cracker with one marshmallow covered graham cracker to make a sandwich. Eat while warm and enjoy every bite. If you want to make a healthier treat, try this recipe. Strawberry banana smoothie. Serves four. Ingredients. Two one half cups of frozen strawberries, four ripe bananas, one one half cups of milk, you can use soy milk, almond milk, or rice milk. Even apple juice if you like your smoothies extra sweet. One cup of ice. Directions. Put all the ingredients into a blender and mix on low power until well blended. Pour into a tall glass, stick in a straw. I like two colorful ones best and enjoy. That's the end of the extras. I'll see you next time when I read a new book. Bye everyone.